Sharpsburg is a town with deep connections to its past. Settled in 1763 and right down the street from where the Battle of Antietam, the bloodiest single day in American history, occurred in 1862, its history is entrenched in its culture. But as it's pointed out on some ghost tours around the town, some of that history can be a little bit spooky. It was not so bad when you think of it like that. As a group of people in Sharpsburg recently went on a ghost tour where they were told about some of the supernatural sightings people claim to have seen in the town, Jarrettstown, West Virginia resident Tracy Hudgens' camera suddenly stopped working. Tour guide Mark Brew told her unusual things happened at that spot. When she got the camera going again, some of her pictures were covered with orbs. We cleaned the lens three times and took the pictures and they're still there. And then I've taken other pictures that are crystal clear, no orbs. Hudgens, who was on a tour with the Gravediggers and Ghosts of Sharpsburg Historic Ghost Tours, said she believes in spirits and that the orbs could be spirits, but it didn't worry her. I think they're stuck in the middle. They have unresolved business, and I think they'll eventually pass on, but right now they're here with us to stay for a little bit. Brew leads one of two separate ghost tours in the town. The other is given by Sharpsburg resident Meredith Poffenberger of Sharpsburg Ghost Tours. Sightings and sounds they have reported include the ghost and shrieks of pain from Confederate and Union soldiers in churches and buildings, the ghost of children spotted in different corners of the town and buildings, and suspicious incidents at the Jacob Rohrbeck Inn, where Jacob Rohrbeck was murdered by members of the Confederacy in 1864 and apparitions and noises have been reported. Brew, who said he once spotted a Confederate soldier at Antietam National Battlefield, said there could be many explanations to what people see. The only way that I can make sense of what I described to you is kind of like back to the future, kind of like parallel time dimensions. Poffenberger's tour included a lot of haunted buildings, including the Cook House on Chaplin Street. She said that she does believe in ghosts because of the stories she's heard and her own sightings, but they don't bother her. I've never been scared in a, you know, of malice or, or evil, and never, never that type of energy. Poffenberger told a story at the Cook House about a young woman who recently lived there and liked to play music on her iPod. Yet one time when she was playing a hard rap song in or in front of the house, it would mysteriously turn down. So now we're going to drive up there playing Tupac Shakur's Hail Mary to see if a member of the Cook family doesn't like hard rap music. Coming up on the cows now. And it didn't turn down at all. I couldn't confirm the rap song theory, but that doesn't disprove it. Hoffenberger described the stories and what she has seen as residual energy. I'm open to um, the residual energy that is left behind or their habit that's left behind. A large portion of Brew's store took place in an alley behind Town Hall, where the spring that is the reason for the founding of the town flows. Brew said people have claimed to spot the ghosts of two young girls and a young boy in overalls, and a man in a Confederate outfit with a beard at the end of the alley. Brew said that he does not discount such stories. It's up to each person to decide whether or not it's true. Um, the stories are real, they are authentic. Um, and uh, it's up to the individual person on the tour to decide, you know, what they want to believe about them. Now, four claimed sightings of ghosts here would make this seem to be a very haunted alley in Sharpsburg. But after staying here alone in the cold until just past the witching hour, all I saw were two cats, and I heard a little bit of howling, and I saw a motion light flicker on and off at a nearby house. But I did not see any ghosts. Reporting with the Herald Mail and HMTV6, this is Caleb Calhoun.